All right, hey everybody, I'm here. I just, uh, let me know how this music is. How's the audio sound? I think it's pretty good. Should be pretty good. But I'm still, still getting used to playing the music and I can't hear it. So I'm looking at the levels and I think it's good. But let me know, please. Uh, okay, so hey everybody, welcome to Fry Minis uh, Live. We're going to take a look at the ReaperCon 2021 Mega Bundle. So this is a bunch of boxes full of minis, paints, and goodies. Somebody give me a thumbs up on that audio, please, 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 please. Uh, and quick side note, there's a monsoon outside, thunderstorm, lightning, craziness. I don't think our power is gonna go out, but just in case, sorry. Music is good, thank you, thank you. What's up, Josh, what's up, Julie? Thanks for clicking in. Uh, okay, so ReaperCon, if you don't know, is a big convention every year, put on by Reaper Minis. Uh, you can go there, you can play D&D, you can paint minis, you can win awards, you can spend tons of money. Uh, it's generally a pretty good time. And uh, they do these swag boxes. Well, they do swag bags, but they also do these boxes. Oh, now it's too loud. Okay. <laughs> uh, here, let me, let me drop that down a little bit. Okay, let me know if that's better. I think that maybe. <laughs> the fun of this. Uh, okay, so these uh, these boxes, normally in the past, you'd pick them up at ReaperCon, uh, which is fine, but then you're lugging these boxes around. They did a cool thing this year uh, where you can order them on the website. So you can still order them right now, ReaperMini.com. You go there, order what you're about to see us unbox. Well, me unbox. Yep. That sounds great. Okay, so let's uh, switch this camera around. And get to it. If anybody wants to zoom in on anything, let me know, and we'll take it. We'll take a look at it. Jerry Murphy, welcome aboard. Happy to have you. Okay, let's go to our top-down camera. Let me move the mic out of the way a little bit. So I'm going to move the box up here to open it up, the main box, but then I'll put it back so we can go through the little ones. I am painting unprimed minis at the moment. Big controversy right now about unpainted or unprimed versus primed Reaper. I don't think you need to prime Reaper if you clean it well. Now, of course, you can always prime it. It's not going to hurt it by priming it. But do I think it's necessary? No. All right. So this box, this is the box. It's a really big box, as you can see. 2021 Mega Bundle. Uh, I like the, the sticker. They've used the sticker before. But it makes it look a little bit like a treasure chest. It's kind of kind of cuties. All right, let's get out of let's get this going, so we can get into the actual boxes. Bubble wrap, air pockets. Got lots of minis in here. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So we can go through these one at a time. Bring the mic back down. Let's zoom in. I put a black painting mat back here. Some of y'all didn't like the reflection last time. All right, so we're just starting with a random box. This is a box, a small box. <laughs> I'm not sure what's what's in here. It's minis. All right, these might be... Okay, so with Reaper, when you buy stuff on reapermini.com, every time you hit $40 in your cart, uh, you get a free mini. Uh, there's a small selection that you get to choose from that you get to take a pick of, whatever you want, uh, and you just get it. So if you spend $40, you get one free mini. If you spend $80, you get two free minis, etc. And as far as I know, there's not a cap, but I mean, maybe there is. I don't know. Uh, so these are just random. I think these are them. I don't know. I don't even know. Hold on. Let's see. Yes. 
Yes, these are random minis. So these are unrelated to the, the box, but we'll take a quick look. And once we get into the actual minis, uh, if there's anyone we want to open up to take a look at, we can. So this is a X White Taskmaster Worlds. I don't know what that means, but to me, it looks like a skeleton dude. This guy's name is Brag Ironballs. I appreciate that. It's a fun name. Sarah the Cirrus. Uh, not too bad. This definitely looks like an old school mini. Uh, Captain Razig. This one looks cool. This is like a pirate skeleton person. That one's really nice. And then uh, two Highlander zombies. Because you can never have too many zombies, right? Yeah, so those are, those are fun. But those are what I just happened to pick when I ordered this. So you could get something totally different. All right, next box. Grave Wraith times six. What? All right. <laughs> okay, I think that box might just be a reused box. Okay, so these are some from the actual sets. Doc, a flock of flame, and the Dale Wardens. This is a whole big party of everybody. All right, let's, let's zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's maxed out. Okay. You know what? We're going to open these up. Some people like to keep everything in the packaging. I don't. I will, I will not totally open it if it's in multiple pieces, though. So this is a lantern, the Lost Prince. This is a very good. So this is Bones USA, which is that new material. It's in between Bones Black and uh, Classic Bones, roughly. Uh, I like it. I think the sculpt's cool. It looks just like a big, like uh, I'm a fancy Elven lieutenant or something, or Lost Prince, I guess. Looking good. Uh, Erilyn Water Sorceress. Uh, she's got foam. Usually, you do the foam with metal minis. She's in one piece. Oh, this stick isn't uh, like a staff. It's part of the sprue. Interesting. Uh, she's fully covered, but we are a little beach bally. Otherwise, the mini's pretty good. I mean, she's kind of a snake, I guess. But I do like the detail in there. All right, Damaris Deveril, wizard. And I'll tell you, all these these Bones USA, they all have a different feel. Uh, oh, that's a good question. Maybe she is resin. Yeah. Good catch, Daka. Yeah, I, I truthfully, I, I don't really know how to tell. But it seems like that might be the case. Uh, so this is a wizard. And this cloak looks really nice to paint. I love this giant scroll. You can do some really detailed stuff in there. And he's just got a kind of a chunky face. I appreciate that. These are all pretty good so far. All right. Uh, Aladril Starbloom, Elf Wizard. Not terrible. And y'all know what I'm judging right now anyway. If you've ever seen any of my stuff. Love this double cloak. I think that's super fun. Yeah, it's all right. The This detail is really, really, really sharp down here. 
I, for some reason, I'm always a sucker for minis with scroll. Yeah, it's because you get to do freehand, which you, I don't think you get to do a lot with D&D stuff. Generally, I mean, you could always give anything a, one of those galaxy capes. All right. And I know this one will be Julie's favorite. Uh, she's not able to be on the stream right now, though. Uh, Stumpy Dan McGinty and Grog Hog. No fun allowed. What's up? Thanks for clicking in. We are opening up ReaperCon 2021 Mega Bundle. Tons of minis, tons of paints, tons of goodies. Uh, so Stumpy Dan McGinty and Grog Hog. Possibly my new favorite names, at least, for minis. So Stumpy Dan McGinty, let's start with him. This is like a little, I don't know if he's a halfling or a dwarf. I mean, he's definitely one of the shorter races. Uh, he's cooking, oh, what's it say? It says uh, black chum rum, which I, yeah. Ah. <laughs> um, I think this is really fun. I would love to play. I had a, um, a gnome shadow monk that was a pirate chef. Like that was this whole thing. Uh, and this, this would have been a good replacement. All right. The grog hog. <laughs> uh, it's a little piggy and it's got a little barrel. I'm assuming uh, full of grog. This is excellent. And this is definitely going to be Julie's favorite. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Oh man. All right. The grog hog so far takes the lead. Alright, we'll put those in that box for now. And this stream, unlike the uh, Reaper Bones 5 stream, will not be four hours. <laughs> oh, and we've got a loose mini. Oh, I think this this was actually one of the other freebie picks that I got. Uh, I don't have anything like it. Uh, Jake, Jake Ryan, Hero Explorer. It's a modern one or maybe yeah I think I just picked it so I had some variety I don't really like modern stuff but and the stream nothing else worth saying <laughs> dwarf artificer chef there you go everybody Dungeoneers pack has some of the best character builds in the game all right so this is the smallest box uh, we don't. You don't need to see it all together, but this is the swag box. It'll be five hours instead. No, this this is a. Uh, I mean, we could do five hours, but the content. Uh, I don't have nearly as many minis. All right, so we're gonna open this up. We'll zoom out a little bit. ReaperCon 2021 swag box. So there are three main boxes, and this is the swag box. I absolutely love this treasure chest type sticker thing they do. I think it is very, very clever. And just a lot of fun. All right. We've got a ton in here. So uh, first we've got Reaper paint cups. <laughs> I've got a whole stack of them plus this is just like half of them they're always good to have to rinse your brushes out i've been out of town and eric is lonely so if y'all want to keep him company he'd probably stream for five hours yeah i guess i'd be sad if i was streaming to like one person for five hours but whatever <laughs> uh okay so at ReaperCon they run this like little campaign with these different factions and you can like declare like pledge yourself to one of the factions and then Whenever you do stuff, you can earn points for your faction, and then it's, it's kind of like a meta story. And it's a little, I, I think it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. And, but there's I'm not 100% on the details, but I believe this year is kind of like a reset for it, even with fewer minis than that marathon. Yeah. Spawn of Mersaluth? Mersaluth? Spawn of Mersaluth? I don't know. Spooky undersea lamprey. All right, let's do let's do the minis first. Okay, so this is shipwreck Sophie. I guess we'll come back in. Okay, shipwreck Sophie. Sophie is 
kind of the icon, the mascot for ReaperCon. Um, some of the minis for Sophie are cool, like this one. Uh, I like it a lot. Some of them are incredibly sexualized, and I don't like those. But that's what you get. Uh, and she's like a she's like a succubus demon thing, so she's got those wings. But you can always uh, reflavor that. Probably my favorite Sophie so far. Uh, pirate mouselings. So mouselings are little mouse anthropomorphic adventurers. With all the uh, animal races we're getting in D&D nowadays, I'm sure we'll get a mouse race sometime soon. But you can always reflavor like a goblin or a kobold or something. Uh, and these are just two happy pirates just drinking some, some uh, grog hog <laughs> booze and uh, having fun. I like it a lot. I don't know what you I think this would be more of a display kind of thing. I don't know what you would stat that as, I guess. Captain Black Scale Dragon Folk. Now this one looks cool. I will forever curse the Dragon Folk from Reaper Bones 5 though. Made me late. Yeah. Really, really sharp detail. Really good. Uh, those drinking buddies are so cute. Yeah. Uh, I like, just gotta say, like, just kind of like, this isn't a dr dramatic dynamic pose or anything. It's just what, what is special about this one is that it's an unusual combination of things, right? You don't see a lot of dragon born pirates to my knowledge. And you can always reflavor it as a lizard folk. No problem. Yeah. Very good. Now this one, I'm not a fan of Giselle the Sorceress. Um, yeah. The fabric detail is nice. I'll say that. That is a sweet Dragonborn mini. Uh, so you can buy these boxes individually or in the mega bundle. Uh, and if you get the mega bundle, you get a couple extra add-ons and kind of things. Um, and I think it's probably a better deal, like ultimately than buying them individually, but whatever. Uh, ReaperCon 2021 swag bag triad. We've got some paints here. Uh, triads are usually color combos that work well together. And I'm a big fan of Reaper paints. All right, busted anchor. Rusted anchor. Rusted anchor. I can read. It looks like a nice, good red brick brown kind of. Find lots of uses for that one. Uh, this is black pearl. Uh, it looks kind of purpley. Maybe maybe a little metallic. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe if I think I'll probably do like a little paint comparison or something. Maybe post it as like a community post so you can see these. In theory, I like this though. And then this is Brinewind Brass. So a lot of metallics can really separate. <laughs> you see? So once you shake them up, it all it works out. Now I wonder how Busted Anchor looks. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll do I'll do a community post where I do a sample of all the paint colors. We can do that. Brian Brass, Cursed Gold remains my favorite gold from Reaper, but this looks really good. All right. Uh, so they also you get a fast palette combination. It's just a bunch of paints. And so this one we get a sample of uh, Dark Reach, Fast Palette. So this seems to be a palette of six somber colors to deepen the dangers of the darkness. So under dark type of things. And here, so this is, we can see roughly, obviously, uh, what these colors all look like. Troglodyte Tan, Goggler Green, Dark Reach Shadows. So this is a liner. So this is kind of like a thin, 
kind kind of like a wash, but you wouldn't just like throw it on. Uh, drow skin, that, that drow skin looks really good. Uh, burnished platinum, I'm excited for a kind of a purpley silver that looks cool. Uh, and Bethalian mauve, Bethalian mauve. I don't know. I'm I'm digging these. I think these look great. Wow. Oh, it's taped. Oops. So when you open it up, they're all just in the tray. Yeah. This is, this one's a winner, I think. We won't know obviously until we actually try them, but. cover it up <laughs> there's a code on there but a $20 gift card for a reaper con reaper reaper mini.com reaper mini.com $20 gift card goggler green looks interesting yeah now I'm really excited to do that paint sample <laughs> uh, but there's a code on there you can just go ahead and use it uh, this is Julie's actual true life favorite part reaper you that's where you can do all your uh, painting classes uh, but these notebooks she uses these notes for her notes. And so I don't need that, but these pens, the actual pen is fantastic. These are some, true story. These are some of my favorite pens in the world. These ReaperCon pens, they just write forever and they're smooth and it's just a nice feel. Best like free convention pen I've ever experienced. And I've been to many events. All right, so that's everything in the swag box. Look at that, we're a third done already. Oh, we've got a couple cards in here. Last chance to get your Kickstarter. So they extended Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter. They're calling it Bones 5.5. Uh, you can go in. And there are, there's a limited selection of minis that you can get. And the prices, I mean, it says at Kickstarter prices, but I don't know what that means. These are, they're more than they were than the original Kickstarter, but they're still way less than they'll be when you buy them in retail. So if you can go in there, and if you've already done this, if you did Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter, you have to open up a second account. So just a second email. And they've also launched recently their own airbrush, the Vex. Uh, I know you all can make plenty of jokes about me using a paintbrush, <laughs> but here we go. Maybe it'd be great to win this at ReaperCon. Uh, ReaperCon has so many like giveaways and prizes and stuff. I hope to get one. Tim Fry, hello. Hi, Daka Flock of Flame. I'm also interested in the liner since they recently discontinued a few of them. Yeah, absolutely. My estimated bones five delivery got changed to Wednesday. Super excited. Congratulations. Wednesday is just a couple of days away. I'm still waiting on mine. Oh no. Oh geez Louise. Well, I hope my, my unboxing video helps you rather than rubbed your nose in it. Okay. We got a big one. So this is the brine wind box. So that campaign thing I was talking about, uh, it's set in this kind of area called Brinewind. Or the campaign's called Brinewind. I don't know. But this should be a bunch of pirate stuff, basically, is where we're at. Tim Fry, is it uh is it storming in Michigan? It's going crazy here in Texas. I'm afraid of losing power during the stream right now, actually. It's flickered. Oops. All right, <laughs> All right. right off the top. Not that I don't trust y'all, but I don't trust y'all. Uh, so another $20 gift card. <laughs> get that out of here. Honestly, your unboxings make me excited to get my, thank you. That's the, that's why I like unboxings. It's fun. You get to like, ooh, that's what I get. I can't wait to get that. I can't wait to see that up close. Lots of stuff in here. Including free paper. That's great. All right, let's slide that off so we can zoom in again. 
I wish I had a button that could make this lens zoom. I'm just glad it's in arm's reach. <laughs> All right, build a pirate. So this one I'm not gonna take out of the box because it's a bunch of pieces, but this is really a really cool thing. So you've got three like legs and torsos, but then you've got these heads and these arms, so you can kind of mix and match them. No storms, just smoky skies on California. Uh, I I don't think I've ever seen this before. Build build a build a build an X. I think it's really neat. Those little heads. Uh, this reminds me of the um, upcoming WizKids frameworks. Their sprue minis. Free paper. Now I want to order. <laughs> oh, okay. The Drunken Mermaid. Build a pirate. Super cool. Yeah, yeah, that's su I would love to see that with skeletons. I think skeletons would be a great match. Build a skeleton. Or build a zombie. Build a flesh golem. And then you can have different... You can have like a dragonborn arm and a tabaxi foot and a kenku head. How cool would that be? Uh, okay, so this is a mermaid with clam shell boobs. And it says the Drunken Mermaid. I guess this would be like, um, like terrain, maybe. Maybe you could drill a hole in that thing on the top and use it as a Christmas tree ornament. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever paint that. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> speak of zombie pirates, three zombie pirates. We're going to take a look at these ones. And if y'all haven't, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification bell. And if you want, become a member. Two ninety nine a month. Get a cool little icon next to your name. All right, let's uh, let's do these one at a time. Okay. Looking cool. It's got a little hatchet, a little saber, a little cutlass. And you know these just smell like nasty fish. That one's great. A little bit. This one's got a maybe a maybe a, instead of a hand axe, it's got a, a battle axe. <laughs> I don't know. But they just you can see they're just like raggedy. And then maybe maybe this is a, like a pirate captain. He's got the fancy the tricorn hat. Yeah, no, these are really good zombies. But I think these are a little more uh, sentient zombies than D&D zombies typically are. I think D&D zombies are more like Walking Dead zombies. And these are clearly using tools and whatnot. But your game, your rules. Oh, okay. So maybe that was the first mate because this is Captain Barty Red. It's just one arm isn't attached. All right, we're gonna, he's in two parts. We can take him apart. Give me build a skeleton. Yeah, let me customize the equipment. Absolutely. Well, welcome to frameworks. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He's got that big like mouth and nose and, and his little hands, his little fingers saying, come on, come on, I'm going to eat you. Come on over here. Oh yeah, there we go. That's, that's how the arm goes. Yeah, he really is like he's singing. Oh, zombies is white. Absolutely. Absolutely the right call. That totally, I'm hundred percent with you. This is a cool mini. He's, he's gonna, definitely going to be large though. Yeah, no, great. You get oh, he's got like tentacles coming out of him, like eels or something. Yeah, this guy's a winner, big winner. All right, free paper. You don't need to review that. Oh, this one's fun. Uh, Hackle Black Hook, Null Pirate. Yeah, let's get him out of there.
Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so this is another thing uh, where in d and I think the gnolls would be a little more uh, crazed, at least in 5th edition, to be a to be a pirate. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You could also reflavor this as, uh, I mean, maybe like a tabaxi or a Leonin or, I mean, <laughs> a werewolf pirate would be cool. But it's a good sculpt. Lots of little detail, little baggy coins, and a hook hand. No, I think it's a lot of fun. Winner for me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but we've got Hawthorne Crabby. Probably crab, but Hawthorne Crab. And Poppets. So this is a dude. Oh, this is easy. Oh, shoot, his arm. There's another one where his arm's off separate. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got the same kind of weird hand. I don't know why all these things have three fingers. Uh, but I love this face. Love that mini. I like that knoll. Thanks, Daka. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, this one's super cool. Jerry, do you know why they only have three fingers? Is that just a sculpt size issue, or are these not... Not human-ish kind of thing. This hat. It's got little teeth up there. Really, really cool. And then these things. I don't know. These are like dolls. Voodoo, do voodoo dolls. Little sacks of sand or something. I personally love me some smart knolls, even if I had to homebrew for playing one. Yeah. Yeah. Knolls are fun. I don't know. I think I, whenever I think of Knolls, though, I think of Knolls from uh, the very first Baldur's Gate when you have to go rescue uh, Boo, Minx and Boo, and his, um, what's her name? Oh. The, the witch that he's sworn to protect. <laughs> okay, Jerry. Thanks. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool one. All right, we've got some more in there. <laughs> uh, zoom out. Uh, water bottle. We have so many of these water bottles. <laughs> and so we have several of this particular water bottle too. And another paint cup. Black chum rum. Black chum rum. Rum tea. Rum Teat. Rum Teat Bay Distillers. Okay. Well, if it holds water, I'm happy. And we've got another paint set. So this is Dungeon Dwellers. I think I've... Is this new? Yeah, maybe. Not. Okay. I don't know. I've got a similar set. All new colors. Yeah. So this is uh, Dungeon Dwellers. That's their series of minis that are kind of like just good old adventurers lots of bags all right griffin golden brown basilisk green torchlight rogue shadow liner another liner forge glow metallic okay and hobgoblin blue that was sound interesting if y'all don't have an exacto knife Go to the store. Go to Amazon. Especially with minis. I don't know if y'all can hear that thunder outside, but ooh. All right. Yeah, these look good. I'm interested in this Forge Glow. That's an unusual name for a metallic. It's kind of like orangish more than anything. Peach, maybe. I look forward to those. And yeah, we'll do a, we'll do the sample, color sample. Okay, and then oh, uh, it's kind it's kind of like a wash that you'd only use in select spots. 
I actually don't have a lot of experience with liner. So if somebody has a better description than that, please toss it in the chat. But it's like thin paint. Uh, a Velcro patch. This is great. Brinewind Spear Fishing Club. Oh, mermaid. I like the color, though. And then stickers. These are really nice high-end stickers. I assume this is one of the factions. This is the ReaperCon logo, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then probably another faction. Chops Scullery, Riverside District, Brinewind. All right. I like the sausage. <laughs> and this is probably one of the faction leaders or something. She looks cool. I like her a lot. Good stickers. Still more in this box. This is, a, this is a hefty box. So this is the Land Lubber's Guide to the Savage Coast. So this is kind of, if I'm right, yeah, this is like a campaign book, campaign setting book. Ooh, it smells like a comic book. I don't know if you all know the smell of a fresh comic book, but this is it. Talks all about the, the area. Ah, oh, Catablepus. If you didn't watch my video on painting Catablepus, check it out. <laughs> Where I don't prime it. Lots of information. Lots of lore. Uh, it's good stuff to know for ReaperCon if you're at the event, but you can also use this just as a setting for your own game. Or, of course, just borrow bits and pieces. The Slith, Slith, Slith Baron Ekashak doesn't look like any other creature. Ooh, the Kraken Lich. <laughs> what? I love it. Devil Rays. I like that they come up with all this. Like they've even got populations of these cities, Brinewinds, settlements, descriptions. It's a full it's a full campaign setting. I think I think that's uh people sleep on the fact that you get a full campaign setting here. Adolescent Reef Gorger is an aggressive predator. Sure. Wow. Siren grass. Oh, these are fun. This is a this is an old mini. This is a very very old Reaper mini. The shark man with this stabby hand. My favorite way to use the liners is the trick of thinning them down with a little bit of water and flow improver and using them for the initial coat on a bones maze. Daka, you might have just you just might have changed the game here. If you get on our Discord, we've uh, been having quite the conversation. Holy symbol of Karkova. Oh, Karkova, the demigod. Like they're they're gods and deities in here. Favorite weapons? This is a, oh, Mare Sibluf. Okay, we already talked about her. And then the Pirate Cruise. Hellrunners, I like that one. Yeah, and of course a map of the whole area. So this is all sea and then this is, this is land, and this is land. Excellent. Oh, what? Holy cow. All right, let's, we're gonna zoom all the way out. It's a trick people figured out in the Reaper Morphs. So we're at maximum zoom out. Yeah, I gotta cover that up. Uh, look at this, this is like a giant map. What? Yeah, a high res custom battle map. It's just thrown in there. It's just part of the kit. I, like, I think that's cool. All right, boxing this one up so we can go to the next.
That's what happened. All right, this is our last box, y'all. This is the hobby box. ReaperCon 2021 hobby box. This box, if I remember correctly from the virtual, ReaperCon virtual edition last year's thing, they, uh, it was full of cool stuff if you were new to the hobby. But if you were already in there, I don't know how helpful it was. It was things like, um, like a little photo white soft box and some stuff. Uh, but let's take a look. <laughs> Not going to get me that time. Another $20 Reaper gift card. Ooh, what is this? Chalky paste. All right. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay. Reaper brush holder. Oh, it's made to look like a boat. So this was another thing that was in the last one. This is really cool. It's uh, it's made out of bones material, bones USA here. And so you assemble it, and you can paint it if you want. And it's uh, it's a brush holder. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of fun. This one seems way more sturdy than the last one. Uh, the other one was pretty wobbly, but that one looks great. We've got a brush. Um, 85, uh, triple zero. So this is going to be for your super details. We don't need to open that up. We've got a bunch of those. A handle. So a painting handle, just like this. You put your mini on there. And one thing that's cool about this particular one, uh, is you can screw, you can put it on, you put the mini on some tacky paste or whatever. Uh, and then you put it on a bottle cap and then you can screw that on here. And with this handle, you can like hold it. So that if you're, if you're left-handed or right-handed, that we've got a better grip instead of just like this. Brush holder seems cool. It is cool. Everything's cool. Oh, duplicate. I, I, I wonder if we get random cups. I think it might be random cups since there were so many other groups, but that's okay. Looks nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Champion of Marisolis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But he's got uh, crabby hands. And then a real hand. Does he have a head? That is his head? I don't know what's going on with his head. Or with their head. I really don't. Interesting. But I love the like the undersea armor kind of look with the shells and everything. I think that's pretty neat. Wooden ones are nice too. Wooden ones are great. But I will point out that I had asked you if we could do that little handle. But there wasn't a way to easily do it. So that is the advantage. But my day to day... Oh, it's over there with the thing on it. Is Wooden Handle from timsturnings.com. One of the most important tools, the pokey tool. When your bottle eventually and assuredly gets clogged with paint, you pop this in there into the hole and it'll clear it out. Uh, and this one, usually they're just shaped like a skull. Like this. Usually they just look like that. And you can see some leftover paint. Uh, this one has a uh, it's shaped it's like a pirate head. I think it's cool. Nice little switcheroo. Uh, okay, and so we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. Whoa! Are you really okay? So I'm automatically, this is automatically better than the previous hobby box. 
look at look at all these brushes. What the heck? Zoom out. That's a, it's like a whole set of them. That's great. We got zero, one, a little tiny dry. Twenty zero. A two. Two. Nice big one. And a five oh. This is great. This just just this just sold me on the set. Having having all those brushes together. I wish there was like a Reaper just here are all the brushes kit. Alright, I don't know what this is. No idea. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. this way. There we go. All right. Bubble wrap. So it's probably an egg. In this time of need, Danny DeVito. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that. Okay, so this is like a statue thing. And it's a, it's a D20 pirate person. When you buy their dice, uh, Reaper has started making their own dice. When you buy those, uh, you get a little, a random, it's in a little blind bag of a dice person. I don't know the name of a dice person. Uh, that's like a, like a D4 or D6 or whatever. It's a different character type, class type. This is fun. This is big. This is really big. Got some little cleanup we need to do, but not a big deal. Huh. That's unexpected. You got me on that one. Yeah, that is cool. Or were you talking about the brushes? Or the dude? I don't know. All right. And our last thing in here. Another paint kit. Uh, fast palette. Gloom and grave. A palette of six new colors from beyond the grave. Oh, these are good. Uh, vampire paler. Uh, Necromancer Purple, Nod Bone, Wraith Steel Metallic, Dark Green Metallic. Sounds so awesome. Uh, groove, <laughs> groove, Groove Gloom, Grave Gloom, and Dark Knight Black Aligner. All these sets are great. These, these paint sets. Really cool colors. I just need to make more wall space. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Necromancer purple. Death. Oh, this is the green? Wraith steel? Wow. Okay. Give it a shake. That's definitely... Definitely... Maybe it dries differently, but... This is way more of like a tealy turquoise than green. But again, it could, it could dry differently. But either way, it still looks neat. I like it. And this vampire. Like a baby mint. Out of D&D. &D. Hey, how are you? Thanks for clicking in. We're, we've, we're just wrapping up. Uh, all right. So let me switch back. Boom. Cool. And I think I figured out how to keep the chat active. All right, so everybody, that was the ReaperCon 2021 Mega Bundle. We've got a ton of paints, a ton of minis, uh, and a ton of brushes. Big, big shocker for me. Plus this dice person, which I don't even know what that means, but that's cool. Uh, if you want, check it out, ReaperMini.com. You can order it right on the website. You don't even have to go to ReaperCon for it. I'm pretty sure. Um, but there'll be more stuff you can get at ReaperCon if you do go. But I don't get paid to sell you on ReaperCon, so don't even worry about it. Uh, I hope that was fun for you. I had fun. I'm really glad I got this kit. I think it's neat. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Go to patreon.com slash fryminis. Join us on Discord. Link in the description. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Everywhere uh, we are, I'm here. So thanks for watching. I... Shoot me a message somewhere and we'll talk more. <laughs> That's the best ending 
ever.